For the fourth time in the past four weeks, a community in our area is mourning the loss of a law enforcement officer. We're now learning more about 29 year old deputy Katie Lacing. Today, the community support continued at Regents Hospital in St. Paul. You can see these officers and deputies lining the walkway, saluting as they prepare to bring Deputy Lacing back to Wisconsin. Now some aerial images that show the overwhelming support, many people lining bridges along I-94 this afternoon. Mariel Mose is live in Hudson outside the Sheriff's Office there where a squad car memorial is growing tonight. Elle? Yeah, Derek, and this is the fourth time we've seen a squad car memorial for an area deputy or officer. And that's really what struck so many people that came by this memorial today to pay their respects. Those that I spoke with told me that it's really concerning to them how often communities in our area are having to come together over a fallen officer or deputy. <laughs> You didn't need to know Katie Lacing personally to feel compelled to honor her life and her service to St. Croix County. I'm so thankful that there are so many people here. Um, we rallied last minute. We just, we all came together and we have to be here. A crowd of people from all over gathered on the 11th Street Bridge over Interstate 94 on Sunday afternoon as Deputy Lacing's body was brought from the Ramsey County Medical Examiner's Office to the funeral home. Thought we'd bring our grandkids down here to support a little bit as we can do, I guess. A squad car marks a memorial for her in front of the St. Croix County Sheriff's Office as people have come by to lay flowers and pay their respects, okay. including Chad and Laura Johnson, who live in Hudson. Yeah, it's just senseless. It's just very sad. You feel for the family members that had a dollar that didn't come home last night. A few of the deputies who just lost their colleague lowered the flag to half staff. My son is a police officer. I've got other family who are in the um, police force across um, the two states, and I just wanted to show my respects for the officer who was lost yesterday. Marsha Krogh saying can't believe another law enforcement officer's life was cut short. Three in Wisconsin, one in Minnesota within the last month. Um, I just hope it's not a trend. This community, like the others in the last month, have all shown their strength in numbers through difficult times. You need them to come together, we all come together. And it's just great to see that in our community. Deputy Lacing did join the St. Croix County Sheriff's Office last year, but before that, she served for two years as a county deputy in South Dakota. And we are learning more today from the man investigators say is responsible for shooting and killing Deputy Lacing last night. We're told that 34 year old Jeremiah Johnson shot and killed Deputy Lacing and then ran into a nearby wooded area and then turned the gun on himself. Derek. All right, Mariel Mose live in Hudson tonight. Thank you. As Mariel mentioned, this is the latest in a deadly month for law enforcement across our region. Just three weeks ago, Pope County Deputy Joshua Owen was shot and killed while responding to a domestic assault call in Cyrus, Minnesota. Another deputy and police officer from Starbuck were also injured but survived. One week before that, another shooting led to the loss of two Wisconsin officers. Chatech police officer Emily Breidenbach and officer Hunter Scheel of the Cameron Police Department were killed. The officers were shot during a traffic stop near Cameron, Wisconsin. That's just 45 miles north and east of where the fatal shooting happened yesterday.